Hello, welcome to my religious life special edition of this Monday, Thursday. And I know it's gonna be Monday, Thursday, but you know, Monday, Thursday is also Holy Thursday and Covenant Thursday and Great and Holy Thursday, Sheer Thursday, and Thursday of, of Mysteries because it's the Christian Holy Day uh, falling on the Thursday just before Easter. And it commemorates um, the, the Monday and the Last Supper of Jesus with the apostles that try to describe in the canonical Gospels because it's the fifth day of Holy Week. It is preceded by Holy Wednesday, well by, yes, Good Friday, which I'll explain this tomorrow on um, for my religious life for Good Friday as well. Well, because, who knows? Because I want to read to you a little bit of Bible scripture, so. Scripture, so I'm not going to read it all, so. So, trust me about this one, so who knows. Anyways, it's from John chapter uh, uh, 13, verse verses 1 through, uh, I'm, I'm going to read. I'm not gonna read all of it because it's too long. I know, but anyways, now before now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world. He loved them to the end. Well, <laughs> I was loving to the end, so who knows? Anyways, um, coming on. The, and, and so why is Jesus loving? Why? Because he loved him to the end. Because this is the last one of this of this Bible scripture passage about this one. Because the devil had here it is. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas the son of Simon Iscariot to betray him mm. during supper Jesus knowing that the father had given all these things into his hands and that he had come from you guessed it God mm -hmm. yes and this is what happens. This Bible scripture, as far as we're concerned, we're concerned. So, Bible, who knows? Anyways, because uh, come comes from God, and was going to God, and got up the, from the table, and took off his outer robe, and tie a towel around himself. Then he, uh, let's see. Then he poured, um, poured into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to, uh, hmm. That's kind of strange. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And so let's figure it out if you this people's feet and whatever happens and um, and here's why unless and um, and to wipe them around with a tie how was tied around him so here it here's why here's why that here's why because everybody knows that Simon Simon Peter asked Jesus a question about this one he came to Simon Peter 
and said to him, here's the question, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Here's the answer. Jesus answered, you do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. And he, <laughs> and Peter asked, asked the question, you will never wash my feet. And Jesus responds and says, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Now, this is the third time that Simon Peter says to him, and listen, and listen to this, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Oh, well, guess what? Jesus said to him, one who has faith does not wash except except for the you guessed it for the feet but but it isn't but it is entirely clean and you are clean though not all of you for he knew what who was to be to betray him and for this reason he said not all of you are clean. After he washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had and had returned to the table, and said to them, said to them, now, now here's here's the obvious question about this one. Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and lord. And you are right also. You're right. For that is what I'm what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash another's feet for feet. For I have set you an, an example that you also should do as I as I have done to you. Very truly, hello, hello. Very truly I said to you, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers. Messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know, if, if you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Here's the here's the final part of this one of this Bible scripture. And Jesus wants to respond response to these things to the disciples and all that. And it says that and he says, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God hath been glorified in him, God will glor God will also glorify it in him and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment that you love one another just just as I have loved you. You also should one uh, love one another and by that by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love if you have loved one another so that is why Jesus said to disciples suppose because love one another as I have loved you loved you 
and that's the thing that pops in pops inside my mind. I was singing at uh, St. John's Parish at Great University years ago, and I that's what I sing um, it says love one another as if I have loved you. And I was there in, in Tony Ward in St. John's Parish, uh, Parish St. John's Parish at Great University's Music Ministries. I was here for the Monday Thursday service years ago, and and many years have passed because now here here I am at Resurrection. Since I have known Monday Thursday is about because about this. Uh, about the Last Supper and because anyone who knows about Monday Thursday is yes because I couldn't even think about when what I'm doing when I'm going doing uh, and um, this is this is because this is my first first year at resurrection since when I was uh, since when I was my age because father John my uh, years ago and um, years ago and Now everybody knows it has been used for this one because used. And I know that washing the feet is going to be the component celebration among many of those Christian groups. Hello. Hello. And, um,. Because in this liturgy, because the Bible scripture of John and it always makes sense to this one. So, who knows about Monday, Thursday? So, this is it, my friends. This is it. Because I am standing here on Monday, Thursday today. Because <laughs> life is wonderful. <sighs> Anyways, that's all about Monday, Thursday. And tomorrow is going to be Good Friday. And why? Because everybody knows that after the Passover and all that stuff, because Jesus crucified on a cross, and I'll explain it as tomorrow for my religious life special edition. So you just said Christmas about that. So who knows? Read. Uh, I want you to read this Bible scripture and of John, and you feel to know know about Monday Thursday is, and and would you look it up at uh, Wikipedia.com and and um. And um, I got Wikipedia on my tablet, and it's all there. It's simple. So that's all for now. Who knows? But tomorrow, I'll explain Good Friday is. So be sure to look for that as well. Anyways, that's my uh, religious life story and I'm sticking to it and I'll be back with my final thoughts stay with us <laughs>